we're back in the Ethiopian food truck. Now it's my turn to have some fun. You don't mind if I use your kitchen a little bit, do you? Our kitchen's your kitchen. Awesome, awesome. So I'm just gonna grab some stuff and just throw it around and just do it the way that I think I need to do it. So I'm gonna add in some of that delicious beef stew nice. that they made. Nice. So I want, you guys already know how I roll. I'm gonna add a little bit of a twist to it. So I'm gonna add a little bit of this delicious lockdown. Just a little bit. Just to put a little in there. Bam, bam. Hey. Awesome, awesome. Mix this up a little bit. Oh, yeah. And for those of you guys who don't have a fancy flat top like this at home, you can definitely do this in your skillet. Just watch out. If your kid's at home, don't try and be like Chef Champion. Go get your parents. Have your parents pan bake for you. So now what I'll do is I'll take my tortilla and throw it on the grill. And in Louisiana, we don't just place, we throw it on the grill. Just like that, just like that. And then we're gonna top that off with some localness. So this is my tribute to Wisconsin. I got some of this delicious Schoesberg Creamery spicy pepper jack cheese. Ooh. You gotta go check them out. Fresh homemade cheese made right here in Wisconsin. As you guys know, Wisconsin makes the best cheese in the world. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of that right to that. Just like so. And you had a couple of sauces and stuff like that. This will turn that into a And this is the, the yogurt. This is a yogurt berberet awaze. Special yogurt secret berberet sauce. Yogurt berberet awaze. Yeah, that's right. I said that. So I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of that on there. Just to say I put some on there. Just a little bit. And then we'll take that off the grill. Set it right over here. There we go. And then, um, you got any coleslaw or anything like that? We do. All right. Thank you. Thank you. So then I'll take that and I'll just, oh, that smells so good, so good. So this is coleslaw mixed with? That's got red white cabbage, some jalapenos, some onions, of course, some cilantro, a little balsamic vinegar, a touch of Ethiopian sugar, some lemon juice, and we just mix that all together. Olive oil. And olive oil, oil. Of oh yeah. yeah, I'm putting this in there for sure. And instead of rolling it up like a traditional burrito, we're gonna roll this up as a pinwheel. So what you wanna do is start from the bottom and roll this as tight as you can. Almost like rolling sushi. Remember the last episode I did? I'm gonna pull that back so it's as tight as you can possibly make it. And you're just gonna carefully just keep rolling it. Keep rolling it. Make it as tight as possible. So essentially it will look like a burrito, but it's not a burrito. Is what you wanna do is you just wanna just slice the edges off first. They call that facing it off. So you've got a nice and even pinwheel. And then I'm gonna cut this just like I cut sushi. So my first cut is gonna be directly right down the middle. And then I'm gonna cut that one directly down the middle too as well. And then repeat the process all the way through. And you can make them as big as you want. I like the way those look. So I'm just gonna carefully plate these. As you can see, it's like a little mini pinwheel burrito. You can see all the nice natural ingredients in there. And it's in a little nice snack size bite too as well. This would be great for appetizers in your next party. So put that on there, make that look all nice and fancy. You make this for your people at home, they're gonna think you're a certified chef. You don't mind me, you, you, you still okay. I I'm see good. him hovering over me. I know how it is when you're in my kitchen, but. I'm just making sure this is up to food truck standards. <laughs> so far, it looks fantastic. <laughs> I'm no food truck guy, you guys, but I'm in there today. We're doing it. Remember, we can do whatever we want. It's beautiful. So then we'll set that up. And it looks like it's a little naked. I want to add a little garnish. What would you recommend? We put avocado in almost everything we do on this truck. And if you guys don't know, I don't know if you knew, but avocado is actually a super fruit, high in all the omegas, all a lot of nice antioxidants that's really mm -hmm. good for people who are trying to stay healthy. Yes. So maybe a little avocado? Yeah, please do. Awesome. How awesome. about some jalapenos after that? Oh, I love jalapenos. Let's jalapenos. definitely top that. Let's spice it up a little bit, mm -hmm. even though I know it's already hot. <laughs> all right, so I'm going to go ahead and cut these up, top this with some avocado and a little bit of fresh jalapeno. All right, I think that's it. That's my... <laughs> My, my first Ethiopian Mexican burrito concoction. I'm gonna add a little bit of this nice yogurt sauce to it. So I put some on there. There you go. Fabulous. All right, good to me. Well, Ace, I wanna thank you for the opportunity. This is obviously up to food truck standards. Oh, <laughs> um, nice. I, I think it might be, your, it just shows that, you know, you can cook anywhere and yes. you can make anything. So. And we had a lot of fun. Yeah, we did, man. We this, did. this is 
We are so happy. We are. Uh, I, yeah. I can't wait to try this. Oh, oh. And also special thanks to my man right here. What was your name again? Teffy. Teffy, Teffy. And my man over here. Get in here, man. <laughs> what was your name again? Moodle. Moodle. So Teffy and Moodle, my boy Pat. We're all loving this, this day. It was just an awesome day in the food truck. I am definitely honored to be able to give you guys this opportunity to as well. Thankful. And I hope you guys go far, man. The only one thing left to do, give it a shot. Maybe we can put this on the menu and that's, call it the, yeah, like, the what ace, would we call it? The ace wrap or something. The ace wrap. Oh no, that sounds like something that sports The ace wrap, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> I like it, I like it. Don't forget you guys, um, for the recipes and stuff, you can visit me at my website at chefchampion.com. Um, you've got all the recipes on there, so feel free to knock yourself out. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Dig on in. Yeah. The toast. Roast toast, there you go, there yeah. you go. <laughs> So you got the vodka infused Ethiopian um, uh, roast, and then you also topped that off with a little bit of fresh avocado, a little bit of fresh jalapeno, and then we Pretty topped good. it off with that sauce. So yeah, good. very good. You're hired. Mm. I'm hired. Yep. <laughs> Sorry, you got, I might not be back next time. I think I gotta work on a food truck. Oh man, am I stuffed. Pat, I had a wonderful time here today. We had some great Ethiopian tacos. They just taste so good with all the infused flavor. Why don't you tell us a little bit about how they can get a hold of you? Um, if you'd like to know a little bit more about us, you can follow us on Facebook at Taste of Ethiopia Food Truck. Awesome, awesome. And I bet the people in Green Bay are just raving over your food right now. So far, so awesome, good, yes. Awesome. That's our show, you guys. Always remember to stay positive in the kitchen and know that you too can cook like a champion. Sharing is caring. It's always better to give to receive. So that's our show, you guys. We'll see you next time.